House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy from the snowy Washington, D.C. How you doing, sir? And good morning. I'm, I'm good morning doing well. To you. If you put this to a vote now, would it pass? In the House, I believe it would. And this is mm. why. There's other elements you have not seen. Now, remember, it has been put to a vote in two committees, and every Republican has voted for it. And in those committees is a microcosm of our conference, from Freedom Caucus to Tuesday Group, because they see that even in the CBO numbers, what does it do? It lowers premiums. And remember, the CBO can only score what's in front of them. And as I said many times before, this is one of three phases. So they're not even able to look at what the second and third phase does. Well, if, and, if, it were, if, if it were able to pass today, why not put it to a vote? Just do it and get it over with. Because we go through regular order. We're going through both committees. Now we'll go through budget committee, and then we'll go to rules committee, and then we'll bring it to the floor. Right. Because we don't want to play any games. We want to do exactly as the structure says we're supposed to, and that's what we're doing. So we are debating the CBO report from yesterday. Yes. And Newt Gingrich said this last night with Martha about whether or not the CBO is, is on to something or not. Watch. They should abolish the Congressional Budget Office. It is corrupt. It is dishonest. It was totally wrong in Obamacare by huge, huge margins. I don't trust a single word they have published, and I don't believe them. Do, do you believe them? Do you trust it? Look, I, I go through CBO and all the different parts. I know when they're doing further projections, when they're doing about people, people's reactions, they're good on, actual, on numbers of dollars, but when they have to guess about how people would react to it, that's a very difficult thing to do. So let's look at what they say about dollars. Premiums will go down 10 percent. You'll save more than $800 billion in taxes, and that's why you're seeing small business confidence rise today. You're also going to lower the deficit by more than $300 billion. And that's without looking at phase two and phase three. Look, yes, we repeal the individual mandate. So are people right now having insurance because they're forced to and they don't want to have it? Yes. Mm. Can we sustain the current projection that we're on? No, because the exchanges have collapsed. One third of this uh, of all the counties only have one um, one option. And then you have Medicaid, which in 10 years is going to cost a trillion dollars. That's equal to the entire amount we use on discretionary spending from the military to agriculture to every department in government. So, well, you know, the, that's unsustainable. Let me try and squeeze in two more things here. Tom Cotton sure. says that this three phase thing is a myth. Well, I don't see I don't see that being a myth at all because we have to go through through reconciliation. If we wanted to just repeal and try to get 60 votes uh, and wait for the Democrats to get eight of them to come and join us, that bill would look a lot like Obamacare. This is Obamacare gone. We repeal it and repeal the taxes, and we actually make a system that works and lowers premiums. That's what the CBO says. Yeah, okay, last point here. The, the argument that Paul Ryan and others are making yes. is that fewer people have insurance because fewer people are forced to buy insurance. It, it, is that a tough argument to sell? No, it's not. In the Constitution, does it say you have to have insurance in America? No. But what we do is, today people have insurance that have deductibles up to $5,000. The premiums have continued to rise, so they spend all this money because they're forced to, because they're going to be penalized by the IRS if they don't buy it, and then they can't even use it because they can't afford to use it. Why don't we create a health care system that's not one size fits all, that actually gives people choice that they decide the health care they want? That have different options and that it costs less. That is what this plan does, and it takes three phases to put it in okay. to fruition. I appreciate you coming in today. Sounds a little empty down there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't, the planes aren't coming in, so we're out of session today, but I'm still here working. No question. Thanks for making time for us today. Kevin McCarthy there from the Hill. Thank you, sir. Mm, the sledding on Capitol Hill, though, very cool experience.